Hyacinth's shimmering dances are kind of quite flirty. They are designed to get Richard's attention, so when she's feeling in the mood, she'll do him a little dance and indicate that she's ready. If the mating is successful, unassuming Richard will finally come into his own. The Bangai Cardinals are very interesting. The male takes full care and responsibility of the eggs, so the female lays her eggs and the male scoops them up in his mouth and he'll hold them in his mouth until those are miniature Bangai Cardinal fish. Incubating eggs in this way is known as paternal mouth brooding, only found in some tropical fish species. The male Bangai has got to sacrifice quite a lot. He doesn't eat for a month solid whilst he's looking after his babies. A few days later, and it seems Richard has succumbed to Hyacinth's advances. He is in as well, he's carrying eggs, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. That's perfect, that's brilliant. Richard is now holding around 20 eggs inside his mouth, where they'll hatch into tiny fry. Imagine stuffing six cupcakes in your mouth and trying to hold them there for 23 days, it would be similar to that. So it's really impressive. I mean, there's not very many things in the wild that could do that. Back in the aquarium, Bangai cardinal fish Richard is almost ready to give birth. With the fry growing by the day, he's struggling to keep them in his mouth. 58 hungry fish can sense Richard's about to spit the babies out. And Hyacinth is struggling to keep them all at bay. So he will spit one fry out and make sure it's OK. If that fry is OK, then he will slowly release the others. The problem is the fry always come into contact with other fish at some point. The worst case scenario when he spits them out is it becomes a bit of a free-for-all kind of fish buffet. Richard releases one of the fry that is now just five millimetres long. Oh, it's just disastrous, isn't it? Richard probably felt devastated. By this point in time, those fry are ready to come out. You know, he cannot literally hold on to them for another minute longer. They, they need to exit that mouth. Bangai cardinal fish Richard is struggling to hold around 20 tiny fry in his mouth. But he's surrounded by danger. When Richard spat out his second fry, we thought, OK, we can do this. Because you want everything to be OK. And that one got eaten as well. It's really harsh in the fish world. It's really harsh. After losing two of the fry, Richard decides on a change of plan. His strategy is to go into his cave area and start spitting those Bangai cardinal fish out um, away from anybody's line of sight. With Hyacinth in position, Richard decides it's now or never. He cautiously releases the fry one by one. We like to let nature take its course, but the competition in the tank is so great that we just thought we're going to have to step in and we're going to have to help out. I can see one. You have to act quite quickly, um, but you also have to be very gentle with them. They can kind of pass out in the nets if you're not very, very gentle. It's quite a good clutch, isn't it, for a first time dad? It's really exciting. 18 tiny fry have been rescued. And Richard can celebrate with a well-earned feast. 
It must be a massive relief for Richard and finally get to eat something after a month of starvation. I'd just gorge on pizza if I were him, yeah.